location moving, but it's been a smooth transition because everybody around here is some good, good people. Kevin, yeah, why did you decide to transfer and come here? Uh, I just felt like it was the best decision for me. Uh, at the end of the day, everybody's got to do what they, uh, they need to do for themselves, and I think that's evident. How surprised were you? How did this coach work out? How, did, how surprised were you that Coach Sam didn't retire? And obviously, I'm assuming if he'd stayed, you, you would have stayed. Uh, I was. It was a huge surprise walking into that meeting and him saying that. My my heart dropped for sure. Um, but at the end of the day, if that's what he felt was best for him, I I love him for it. And that's what he needed to do. What made you decide to come? Just, just a little bit. What, what made you decide to come here over Georgia? Uh, I just love the program here. I love Coach Walton and love what the people had to say around here. Um, I believe in Coach Day, and I believe in this team. Okay, maybe this is Drew. Ohio State finished second the first time around. This race is that true first time? No okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. But obviously when they were recruiting you still back in a couple of years ago, Jim Knowles was new here. A lot of the defensive staff was new here. Maybe it was more telling you what it could look like. And now, I guess, seeing what it's looked like over the last two years, and that maybe match what they were telling you back then, what the defense could look like. That's definitely true. Uh, they played great defense last year. And just seeing how, watching the film and seeing how they progressed and seeing how their defense played last year definitely helped me make a more sound decision and having more facts about what I would be getting into. Have they told you, like, which of those safety spots they maybe see you at right now? Um, more so the adjusters and the bandit, but at the end of the day, I mean, I, I just want to play where I can get on the field. Does this defense look like what they were pitching you on as a recruiter? Has it lived, lived up to what they were trying to tell you it was going to look like? Yeah, they definitely have. Okay, well, you mentioned when you should put Walton. What, what stands out about him as a recruiter? Um, Very genuine person. He, um, he always keeps it straight with you. Everything that he says, he has come to fruition, so I can't knock him on anything. He's uh, very close to my pops, too. They grew up together, so just knowing that relationship with him and our relationship together, is, I, I trust in him. Caleb, have you started campaigning to return punts uh, next year, or is that something that you want to keep doing, and did you like doing that at Alabama? I did like doing that at Alabama, but at the end of the day, that's the coach's decision, <laughs> so I can't really uh, speak on that right now. What are your initial impressions of Matt Guerrero? Great guy, very uh, intelligent, um, a lot to learn from him. He knows this defense very well. Just being able to learn from him and see how he sees the game, will, I think that will very progress my, uh, my development. Caleb, I know you don't want to walk, look backwards too much because that doesn't matter, but in those last 24 hours, as you started to narrow in on a decision, it seemed like from the outside looking in, there was a lot of back and forth. Maybe, maybe some of that was false reporting, maybe it wasn't, but... Can you walk us through that last day when, when you went into the portal and how you really broke down the decision that hey, you had to make? How you doing, though? I'm uh, good. You been good? I've been good. Um, it was There was definitely some back and forth. Um, there was a lot to think about, a lot to process between me and my family, so it wasn't really much to say to the media or anything. But at the end of the day, I made the decision, and I'm here, so I'm glad to be here. Caleb, you played more snaps than anybody in Alabama's defense. As a freshman, what was it like having that huge of a role already? And how do you what, what prepared you to play that much as a true freshman? I think the development from when I was a kid. I've been training with my dad and my brother since I was four or five years old. So I don't want to say I was built for this, but I mean, at the end of the day, I've been doing this since I was a kid, so there's really been no change. What is it that stands out right now as you look back on it about Nick Saban? What 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 made him special? <clears throat> Very disciplined person. He was committed every single day to being his best self. And not many people can actually say that and be truthful with that. Yeah. He was the same person every single day and he taught me a lot about commitment, about being disciplined, consistency, everything that goes with that and being great. I feel like that's what he embodies. With, with that in mind, what, what is it about safety, defense, that excites you? What, you know what I mean? Everybody makes a, a, a pick somewhere in their life. They want to play offense or defense. What, what is it about playing defense that excites you? I feel like it's being a part of a, a bunch of moving parts that have to work together. 
the offense has to do their own thing, but the defense, everybody has their own responsibility. And when everybody can do their own responsibility, everybody's going to make plays and everybody's going to be able to succeed. So I just feel like being a part of that and trying to help myself and help my team be better in terms of that, that's a, that's a big thing for me. Toward that end, what, what did you get from Coach Saban about that aspect? I mean, obviously he's known as a defensive guru, defensive genius. What, what did he impart in you in, in terms of that kind of knowledge? A lot about how to see the game um, pre-snap and during the play. A lot about going into the game in terms of how you watch film, how you study, what things to see from the other team. Yeah. Everything like that. That's that's what he teaches. And with that, with that in mind, what stands out about Coach Knowles right now? I mean, he's come off to us as a fairly intelligent guy. I mean, what, what's the impression he's made on you? Uh, very intelligent for sure. Um, he sees a lot and he has an answer for everything in terms of what teams can bring him. So I just feel like him, the different ways that he plays defenses, that will allow me to develop in different ways. For Ohio State fans who have not seen you play, how would you describe your game and, and your kind of the way you approach the game? Very instinctual player, um, very athletic, being able to make plays all over the field, being able to see plays before they happen. Caleb, you were at the, the 2022 Ohio State Michigan game. You just played them in the Rose Bowl. How much easier is it for you to understand the rivalry since you've A, been to a game and B, played against them in your last game at Alabama? I'm so appreciative for everything I've done. I think I understand it more. I mean, I definitely can't understand it from a, a Ohio State perspective because I haven't played and then I haven't been through that. So I can't really speak on how they feel, but I'm definitely hungry for myself. <laughs> Caleb, you said you believe in Ryan Day. Um, what is it about him? I mean, you, you've played for Nick Saban, the greatest coach, inarguably, of all time in college football. To then put that faith in Coach Day, and what is what is it about him that you like during the recruiting process the first time around, and then the second time when, when they come back into your house two weeks ago, what was it about him that the connection was was different? He was the same person. He was uh, very genuine when I was getting recruited in high school, and he was very genuine when I talked to him two weeks ago. So just being able to understand that he's about the people that he works with, and he's very. He believes in the people that he's around, and he believes in the people that he believes in. So just knowing that and knowing what he stands for, that means a lot. How do you, you, said, you said there was a lot of back and forth that when you were in the portal. Oh. Just, I know everything moves so much faster in the portal, but how, what was that like <laughs> comparing to getting recruited on high school? Recruiting on steroids, I'd say. <laughs> I got like 102 <laughs> calls in one day. So just, uh, well, not in one day, probably seven or eight hours, but um, just being able to minimize what my mind was going through, that was a that was a big thing for me, and being able to make a sound decision off of what I knew. You have so many calls, you have so many sites, in such a condensed time frame, how do you block some SF out to really kind of sit down and be like, this is what I want, and make this sound the right thing? Pretty much you have to go south, you have to be able to control your circle in terms of getting your opinions from people that you trust and people that you know you can count on. So that was the biggest thing for me, just being able to understand what the people around me were thinking and how I wanted to go about it. NIL is a real thing, just no secrets. Would that, how much of that impact your decision, just opportunities, even after playing, being in Columbus? That um, at the end of the day, I love playing football, and that's what I'm here to do. I'm not here to make money or do anything like that. I know there's a lot of opportunities here in terms of the city of Columbus, but at the end of the day, I'm here to help this team win football games, and I'm here to do my best and try to develop. If you were talking about culture change, what's, what's been some of the biggest change? I don't know if you've played in cold. Uh, i played in cold throughout my life, so it's not – I mean, Georgia's different, but I mean, I have had some cold experiences, so that's not a really a big thing. When you're going through the process, Caleb, um, of transferring, how much do you talk to the coaches at Ohio State, for example, just about what, what your role is going to be? Like, you're talking about punt returner. We obviously know you're going to be a safety, but was that discussed? Like, hey, I want to be a punt returner. I want to do this or that. Um, it was discussed, but it wasn't, it's not something that was a deal breaker or anything for me, so I wasn't, that wasn't the biggest. Um, 
the biggest yes or no for me. Caleb, what have you learned about what the expectations are at Ohio State? The same expectations that I've had my whole life, the same expectations that we had at Bama to win games and dominate every game and go win a championship. You were, you were here you were five minutes, for 12, 11, five minutes, 12 months, uh, saw the culture there, saw the way that they operate. You've been here for a couple weeks. Are there similarities in the approach to how they go about trying to win a national championship and how this program, just in the couple weeks that you've been here, has gone about you know, trying to get to a national championship? It's all about the work. It's all about the process. It's all about doing everything daily to push yourself to be where we need to be at the end of the at the end of the ride. How did your brother help with this process? You mentioned his family. I mean, obviously, he's at the next level. Uh, I would say the day of or day like before the decision, it was pretty much just sitting on FaceTime with him and my uncle, uh, just talking about what was going to go into the decision and. Um, seeing their input on what they had to say about things. How many of those 102 calls did you actually take? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, I would say I'm a pretty respectful person, and I respect the people that reached out to me, even if I really wasn't trying to look at their school. So I'd probably say, like, 80 of them. Do you have to kind of go onto the forum with the idea of where you might want to go, though? just because of that, having 102 calls in seven hours or so? I feel like you have to have some sort of idea, but... People have an idea of where they're going to go during recruitment, too, so I wouldn't say it's that big of a difference. But you definitely have to have a more of a singular mindset on a few places. Okay, away from football, just describe yourself as a, as a person, as a personality like. Very calm, very... Um, I like to chill out, not, not a lot to do, just... Uh, Hang out with my people, hang out with my friends, hang out with my family. Just be around people. You were named freshman. Of, you were named freshman of the year. Uh, how much did that mean to you? That regardless of position, you were considered top freshman. It was a. It was a highlight for me for sure. Just being uh, being named that and growing a relationship with Sean Alexander. He's a great person, and learning about him. It was. It was definitely an honor for me. How do you feel like you and Lathan and Sonny can all couple that each other in the seasons? I feel like more than just Lathan and Sonny can complement each other. Um, a lot of people in the secondary can work together to be cohesive and be uh, a brotherhood. So, But Lathan and Sonny, they welcome me, and I appreciate them for that. So I think us working together, we can we can do some real damage. Caleb, there's a game, there's a game that, that you have to point to that's like, this is who I am as a college football player from last year. What game would you point us to and say, like, just watch the tape? I would say as a collective, the whole season, you can see the growth. You can see the growth from the beginning of the season to the end. But I would say Mississippi State or Texas A&M would probably be the best, too. Caleb, you were saying... Um, what, are you the final piece to this defense, do you feel like? Oh, I can't say that. That's that's for God to decide. I can't really say that. And then is it better, is it more fun to be recruited as a high schooler or recruited out of the portal? Definitely as a high schooler. Why? <laughs> Not as rushed, I would say. Caleb, you said you've been doing this your whole life. Can you just take us through a little bit how you think about the game, how you study the game, how you prepare yourself, like the, the mental aspect of it, how, how good are you at that? I would say I'm elite at that, being able to watch film and determine what are the keys to look at each play, play. Um, being able to determine which guys I need to change up my techniques for, uh, being able to determine what I'm looking at in terms of before the play and what my teammates need to look at before the play. I would say I'm, I'm elite at that and being able to make those differences each week are a big thing for me. Caleb, you mentioned putting in the work. Um, from a strength and conditioning standpoint in your short time here, have you been able to see a difference between, you know, Mick's program here and what you went through at Alabama? Uh, there's a lot of similarities. Uh, Coach Blue runs a great program, and I love everything that he did for me there and those guys uh, that work there, like Coach UJ. So I'm appreciative of how they worked, and they did great things there. Coach Mick does a great job here, so I can't really say one's better than the other, but 
Coach Mick, he's, he's a very intense person. What do you think of Columbus so far? I know it's early, but what do you think of Columbus so far and just Ohio State, just, just the area? Oh, I love the city. I love being around here. Uh, I love the feel of the town. So just being a part of it is a great thing for me. You don't see yourself as the final piece, but a lot of people do. Do you expect this defense to be best in the nation? I, I expect us to be one of the best. I expect us to excel and be better than they were last year. Um, I expect us to be elite. How much did it catch your attention when Quinshawn and Will transferred here? I mean, I probably did Quinshawn and uh, Will, Will, the guys that are you know, Kansas State quarterback from Miss, did that have your attention at all? Um, I mean, I saw it, but honestly, it was about me making my own decision. Uh, me making the decision that was best for myself, so I mean, I'm glad they made that decision for themselves, but it was, it was for me. What about Seth being here? Oh, I appreciated Seth when I got recruited to Bama, so just uh, the relationship I have with him is great, but at the end of the day, it was about for me making my own decision. What can you say about, about Seth, uh, player, person, whatever? Genuine person. He's very... Uh, very corny and funny, but <laughs> um, I say I, I love that guy. He's uh, he helped me be able to adjust easier to Bama, so I, I really appreciate it. Has a player was down there with you for like I don't know, ten days or something like that. Yeah, yeah. probably like two early weeks. Early yeah. Yeah. What were your early impressions of him down there? Very strong will. Um, you can see the intensity that he goes about his business with. Um, very focused person. How do you make sure you mesh into this program as a new person? Just being able to learn about the new guys, being able to uh, have relationships with each of them. Because that was, I mean, at the end of the day, meshing with people is really just about your ability to understand people and uh, grow a relationship with a person. So I would just say being genuine and learning about each person. You talked about your study habits and, and that you don't really like to do much. Do those things ever intertwine when you're not doing anything, you find yourself studying more? Or like, but you got a lot going on. Does, does the film ever stop for you? I'm a very focused person, so whatever I choose to focus on, that's what it is. So if I'm home, if I'm reading a book, watching TV, watching YouTube, read my Bible, anything, I mean, I would say I'm focused on whatever I'm doing. Caleb, who are some of your favorite football players or safeties that you like to watch for fun or just because you think they're good players? Love to watch Buda Baker. He's a, a very minutes, elite player. Love to watch Mika Fitzpatrick. But I like to watch players that played in the past, like uh, Ed Reed, Brian Dawkins, Ronnie Lott. Those players have shaped a lot of my game, I would say. I do my thing. Are they allowed to? Did you anymore? Do you one in Alabama? Did you like that comparison? You said that you like watching it, but like, do you feel like that's kind of your play style, or is that just a safety that you really like watching? I would say it's a safety I really like watching. I wouldn't say um, my game is a lot similar to him. I feel like you take uh, you take pieces from everybody's game. So, like even me watching. Uh, Charles Woodson, like just seeing how he plays. I mean, in the NFL, All he played a very different type of game, which I really liked how he played. So just learning about that and seeing how you play was a big thing. You know, you and Sonny were pretty close during the recruiting process the first time around, and you know he ends up reclassifying to get into your class. You guys had talked about maybe doing playing together, and probably didn't think it was going to happen. Was there any conversation with him beforehand, like when 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 you went into the portal and? What was that reintroduction like for you guys? Uh, I talked to him probably a couple of days before I committed. Um, I, and during recruitment, I talked to him a lot for sure. And we had a great relationship. I also had a good relationship with uh, Malik Hartford and Jordan Hancock. So those guys, I talked to those guys a little bit before I committed. So they're, they're good people. Were you surprised when Jordan Last question, and Lathan and all these guys decided to come back? And what did it tell you about maybe what Coach Day had built here culture-wise? I feel like they wanted to win, so it wasn't really a surprise to me. Um, I feel like if they made that decision, that they made that decision because it was the best for themselves. Caleb, thank you very much. Folks, thank Thanks, you very Caleb. much. Hey, Thanks, we're Caleb. not going to do any kind of one-on-one. On one. Not this first time. So we'll have, uh, we'll have three more guys out here in about an hour.